Hey guys, Misto here, and welcome back to the 100 Day Challenge, starring Willow. Where we're gonna pick up right where we left off. Oh my god, we're so fast, it's amazing! Amazing! I guess we'll keep picking up the uh, hail as we see it, cause, eh, what the hail? It's fine. That was kinda gross, it was okay, don't complain, beggars can't be choosers. Go ahead and get this ton of filler. Uh, being in the flooding tides or not does slow you down a considerable, considerable, considerable amount. Uh, so you tend to want to stay out of them. Also, they get you wet very fast, even in uh, protective clothing. You see, like we're at 18, they're all 19, 20. Like it goes up, like really, really. That's with 70% protection. That's crazy. Uh, so we're going to grab more grass than we actually need because we're going to need a lot of ash. They still have not fixed the bug. There's still not been a mod that I've seen that fixes the bug. Like, yes, if somebody made a mod that fixed coffee bushes, I would use it in a heartbeat. Would it change the balance of the game? Absolutely. Would it be bad? No. The point of that mod would be to fix a glitch that is not the way the game developers intended this to be balanced. So I would absolutely use a mod that would fix coffee bushes so they don't defertilize every single time. Sometimes. Sometimes they work properly, sometimes they don't. Or at least be consistent. I would even use a mod that just made them defertilize instantly after you harvested them. Because then I wouldn't have to be like, oh, oh are you going to defertilize yet? No, okay, I'll just fertilize you guys on a little on a time delay that's fine too let's grab these so yeah so those guys the seagulls don't come down and uh steal my food uh these won't last very long this ice will last infinitely as long as it's in an ice box and the ice box doesn't get flooded which we don't have a lot of time to prevent Ooh, so much hail oh my goodness we are flooded in the hail oh my Oh my. All right, so let's get this hail made. There we go, wonderful. Find out this ice. Oh, I think we're gonna end up with an autumn amount. Thirty-one's not divisible by four. We learned it here first. So close though, just one more. Can we get one more piece of hail? Come on, game. Oh, I thought that was one. Thought we got lucky. Oh, we're starving. There might not be any more hail. Oh, well. Well, darn. We probably passed one like six times and you guys are just yelling at me, but... That's okay. It doesn't matter that much. We might even have one in the fridge. I'm pretty sure we have put some in the fridge before. But not today, it seems. I see, so has our bamboo come back in? It hasn't. Is that still NATO? That might be still NATO. Get off my food. Still NATO is very hard to tell over the sound of normal winds, but it seems this time it's coming at a time that wind is not blowing. Uh, we should make an additional food. Get our belly all the way up. Uh, there we go. Wonderful. Beautiful. Amazing. Pajitular. Uh, that's not going to last if Seal Nato comes. All this stuff's going to get sucked away. Do we have any space for it? I sound like a big meat monster. It is. It is indeed Seal Nato. Let's go ahead and let's get this up. Oh, 100%. We're ready. And 17%. We're good. Oh, where's our boat? Where's our boat? Let's get out of here. I don't want her messing up my base. I don't have a boat torch. And that boat's going down. Oh, no. We're in trouble. Oh, this is a bad time. This is a really, really bad time. Can we just pick up all our garbage so she can't deal with it? Oh, I have nothing to hide behind. I guess maybe these chests. Oh, we can just get in our boat. Do we have anything in our lake yet? Not yet. Okay. Let's just hang out here. This will be where we fight her. Fight me! Come at me if you think you're hard enough, Seal Nato! That's the point of Thula's light gear if we're just gonna fight her in a boat. 
There's not enough light out here, though. This is a very small arena. And she's still gonna suck up, like, our backpack, our volcano staff. I don't mind that. Volcano staff doesn't matter. Alright, hello, dear. I see you. I respect you. What, are you from here? Where you think you go in Sealy? Hey, I just met you. And you're not sucking. But here's one. Ah, one. Ow, oh, we got hit. Oh, we'll, uh... Ah! enough. We tried. Uh, well, I really hope a chest can save us. I don't know if it can. Wait, maybe since she's on the water, it doesn't suck things in. But since she's on the water, she's going to run onto the water to hide from us. That was three. Oh, well, we got hit. Oh, take it out. Don't run. Don't run. Yeah, run out of the land. Yes. Oh, get crushed. Where's he sleeping? Right there. Get crushed! Oh, can I get this before it? Don't don't set this on fire. I love it. No Krampus sack. Oh well, that lava is pretty easy. Uh, we were kind of prepared. I say it was easy, but then we we basically lost our entire boat, which kind of sucks. So uh, really, it was not easy by any measure, and we shouldn't brag about that. Yeah, let's be honest. No, I don't want that. Get the meat. We always make this mistake. We could just put this down, and this down, and this down. There's all these extra tools we picked up so she wouldn't blow them to the ends of the earth. Now we can grab this meat. Put this on so we stop losing sanity. And also so we can go wherever we want. Willow goes where she pleases. We'd love to get some Krauk pals. Our HP's fine. We took one damage. We hit, we got hit once through our Thula Psyche gear, so it didn't matter. Look at that. There we go. Full HP. Woo! Crush it. But that means we did get to fight her, which means we do get to make an Iron Wind, which is amazing. But I don't remember what it takes to make an Iron Wind because it's been so long since the game has afforded me that privilege. I know we need like a electrical doodad and some gold. So we need like three, four gold. What's electrical doodad too? We need four gold. And we need some rocks, which are in his face hole. Oh, we're so slow. Got it. Okay. And let's get this done. Excellent. Woo! Man, now we gotta change out that boat. That sucks. That boat's going down too. Every everything I ever loved is dying. All right, but. Because this boat's basically dead, we get to hammer it down. And that means we get all these resources back, which is enough to go ahead and get a new boat to go exploring with. Which is fine. Can you stop being... Thank you. Thank you. Stop. Stop being... Stop. Stop being flooded, game! There we go. Excellent. Put this on there. Whoop. Hop on, equip. Oh, excellent. We don't have a ton of gears. We might have some. We might have some. I don't need you. You can just come drop off over here. Uh, oh, I have space for you. John, John. And oh, we do have a few gears. We're f we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We have boat repair kits we can make as well. Get you out of here. Let's get you on. 
Uh, hurricane season's basically done. Seal Nado comes right at the end. I think it's day 35 or 36. We'll start the green season. Uh, we'll wait for the rest of our coffee to come in because this is the situation it puts us in. Because they didn't all defertilize at the same time, we now have to wait. This is why it's annoying. Like if they if it lasted one time and defertilized, okay, I can do that all day every day. I can work around that. But whenever like half of them defertilize and we have to come back a day later and maybe a third of those have and a day later we can do the rest. It takes forever. It's so annoying. It's the worst. It's awful. It's finally about sad times. Oh, we left that ash whenever we killed. We didn't have any space for it. It's fine. Whenever we uh, made those little fires so we could fight Krampish. The old Krampipoo. We didn't get that set up in time. That was a little sad. We do need more wood. But we're starting to get enough of these. We could go Wobster hunting. How much wood do we have? We have no wood, basically. Okay. We could go Wobster hunting. But we gotta wait for our bamboo to come in. That'll be really soon since it was raining. I'm going to grab our... I'm going to grab our axe. And uh, what happened to our shovel? I think I put that in the pack. Nope, oh, it's just gone. It might be in this booty bag. Booty, 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 booty bag. Yeah, got it. Get out of here. Get out of here, backpack. I don't need you. Oh, wow. I forgot how cool our clothes are. Now let's put on this armor so we look like every other character we play in Shipwrecked. Oh, we don't need inventory space. It's fine. It's... This is fine. This is okay. We need a boat for this area. We also need to just kind of stall until the bamboo comes in. I wish we could set up... I wish we could have set up a bamboo farm. We're actually fairly low on rot this game. Uh, we don't really have berry bushes. We don't have... Really a source of anything great. So they stop walking over here. Jeez. These guys are creepy. It's creepy snacks. No, no, you don't. You don't see me. You don't see nothing. You don't see nothing. Why are there so many poisons out here? Oh, jeez. I do not like that. I am not a fan of this. I am not okay with this. What happened? Why? Why are you all here? You better go that way. Go home. Go home. No, don't you. Stay away from me, creepy. You creepy spitter. You better not have seen me. Okay, good. We're safe. For now. Wish we had a uh, weapon. A weapon. Save ourselves the gold. Gold, not too big of a problem. We can go to the volcano. There's still tons there. Oh, it's just not as easy to get quickly in Shipwrecked as it is in uh, Reign of Giants. Reign of Giants, you have the Pig King unloading tons and tons of gold on you. And, oh, why? Why are you being creepy? Go. This is nowhere near your home. His home is over there. Why are you here? I hate all of you. I hate everything. It's all frowny bad side times. He says, why did you even walk over here, dude? This game's, this game's being mean. I'm going home. Oh, we can now make bacon and eggs, though, which is awesome. And lovely and bejujular. For some reason, we took three out of that one. Anyways, a lot of this is going to become ash. we got to find a place to store it. We can't be holding this much excess stuff in our inventory. It's like, I know we're playing the 100 Day Challenge slower than we would if we weren't commenting on everything we were doing. And having to stop and think about our plays and whatnot. Uh, we don't need to be wearing this hat right now. So, I feel compelled to kind of, like, push ourselves to be faster. But that speed comes at the cost of inventory management. Like, in a regular game, I'd have more time to just sit around and do nothing with my inventory. Excuse me, hiccup there. To do nothing with my inventory. 
because I'm only wasting my time. But in this challenge, I feel that we need to get more done. We need to test more things. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and make a bacon and eggs. Because that's just lovely. Yeah, let's get in there. That's fine. That's cool. That's okay. No shame in this game. Do we have... We have 40 grass in here. Now you have six. Now you have 80. Not 60. Uh, you know what? And you also have... I'll take these. You also have... No, I'll take these. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of boards. I don't think we're going to need the wood individually. And we already have one board, so it's like, this is just clearing up a space. Which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, we can make boat repair kits. We have literally everything right there. We can just do it for one. One more rope, we can make two. This should be done. Yep, 40 seconds of bacon and eggs. They take a long time to cook. Make sure you have more than one. Inefficient to eat it right now. This is really good exploration food. Ah. Don't care. No, I don't care. I don't care. No, I don't care. Alright, what are we doing in our life? We're gonna get these trees planted. Oh, the silk is gonna be turned into bug nets. Bug nets are gonna let us catch bioluminescence, which is gonna be good for us. And we might have some bioluminescence marked on the map that might be what those are or those might be swordfish i don't remember it's been a while we need to become more consistent with our uh naming with our marking of things so let's Is my coffee done i really don't want to go out on the ocean to have coffee golly we're so close imagine if it worked all right let's get these trees planted if we're gonna be slow we should just be slow at home my opinion of the matter. Wow, that's so sonity. What are the birds doing? Stop being creepy. Okay. We'll get these planted a bit farther away from the uh, snacks and spitters. Because those guys are jerk faces. Why is there a boat there? Oh, that's how we got here the first time. We can knock that down. Ooh, we could kill this guy. We don't need speed to kill those guys. And that's the one making all the annoyance. Poison spitters. Let's do it. Let's do it. Although, technically, I'm the one making the poison spitters because I chose to plant them next to the snacks. And the snacks is what generates the poison. Shush. Maybe I'm my own worst enemy here. That's fine. Come at me if you think you're hard enough, spitters. Ooh, free snakeskin over there. Oh, the bamboo is back. We gotta get that too. We should have got our thing. No, come here. Bow, bow. Oh, this weapon's so good. Weapon's not as good as Wolfgang, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good weapon. I think we proved that in this playthrough. Oh, I thought we hit the other one. Dear. Oh no, we lost. One HP. What was that? Do you wanna do? Do you wanna kill a spider? It doesn't have to be a spider. Okay, bye. Uh, we could have used anything to kill this. It would have been fine. Let's move them a bit farther. Oh, well, I do like the free snake guns. And they won't be poisoned for a while. Let's put it on... Put it on the beach side. Right here. You can go here. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun 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 Take free vines. Bamboo's ready. We gotta get that. That's gotta be a priority. And the wind is back. Yay. Oh, and there goes the other vine. And our coin. Oh, come to me. I want you. Thank you. Woo. Got it. You can have those. You can't have this. I'm sorry. You just can't. I tried. I wanted to give it to you. Oh, we should have put up the snakes in. I thought you had coins. This can go on the ground. That won't blow away. Dun, 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 
dun, dun, dun, dun. Short, no, well, we got the seaweed, let's do that. This needs to go in somewhere. We might have some in one of these. We don't. Uh, oh, I don't think that blows away. It just might end up catching something. Oh, I forgot again. Good. Good. Excellent. Is our coffee done yet? Is it cafe time? Oh, uh, now again. I think we say this a lot of the times when we go and chop bamboo. It is definitely better to just dig it up. Digging it up gives you the full benefit of chopping it down, but takes basically nothing. Goodbye, charcoal. I'll miss you. I love you. You represented something that was great. Fire. You don't know how much Willow loves fire. Look, okay, now they're being consistent, at least they're defertilizing instantly. It's worse whenever they don't instantly defertilize. And then you have to come back later. So at least these we can get. See, like, oh, okay, don't you. Don't you troll me. Alright, we're gonna get coffee. And well, that means we'll be able to get more done next episode, which will be excellent. Finally, time to go around, start catching some lobsters and jellyfish now that we have some light in our uh, middle area. Not enough, we still wanna get more. Still gonna need a lot, a lot, a lot of bamboo. But it's a start. It's a start. Are you gonna not be ready? Aw, oh, but I wanted another cup. Aw, that's so cute. What do, wait, what do you say about these? Can I? Nope, I can't examine. Okay. We could leave one unpicked. Why do we have such an odd number? We have a little bit of coffee. It's fine. We'll do this. Do we have three, not coffee, we have three honey. So we use three honey to make three cups with this and then make ten cups with that and it'll be excellent day. Oh, we don't have a lot. Let's do this. Okay, let's go. Cooking time. Oh, come on, Wynn. Don't do this to me. Why didn't we build a chimney? Did we build a chimney? We might have it prefabbed and just didn't put it down. I think we prefabbed it and didn't put it down. Yeah, we did. Okay. I might just hammer down that one. It's pretty much worthless. Yeah, now we're getting our sanity back. Woo! Man. You know, Willow is not a great character. Let's be honest. She is a really fun themed character. She's adorable. But she's not made to be a powerful one. What she is made to do is be something that someone who is very easy to new players. New players are going to spend their nights around campfires, around fire pits. They're not going to be out running around with a torch or an infinite lighter. But if they get caught out, they have Willow's lighter to have infinite light. So she's just really, really overly tuned for new players. The only downside is... You must learn sanity management with her. That's so cute! Oh! You're welcome! Oh my god, that's adorable. That's the best thing ever. That's the best thing since Tommy Rouse. Do you like your firehouse? You're welcome. Did I do something wrong? Didn't we have nine? Oh, we put one away. I did. Okay. All right. What was I saying? I don't remember. She's so adorable. Oh, best character in the game. Uh, because she's overly tuned for new players, you must learn sanity management on her. That seems to be the shtick of her character. She helps you through light. She helps you. You have less of a sanity problem if you spend the entire night by a fire. Which is what a lot of new players are doing. But at the same time, you really, really get penalized if you mess up your sanity at any point. Because a boss came and you lost your sanity and suddenly you set your base on fire. And oh no. Oh, we're going to have to finish this. Let's finish this cooking up and we'll call it an episode. So, alright guys, if you like this episode, please hit that like button. If you have any comments or suggestions, especially about characters you want to see me playing in the future, leave them down below. And as always... 
I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Let's get it, Samaras. Boy. Boop.